Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to more family-friendly gaming with Soap the Great. Today is another installment of Server How To's on the Too Crafty Vanilla Amplified Server. And today we're back at my base and I'm going to show you how to use the iron farm. So first things first, you need to come to my base. It's a, you need to come through the nether, come into the nether hub, go to the southeast corner on the second level. And it's a rather nondescript nether tunnel, just nether rack, and there's a sign that says Soap. And then once you come through the hub, or through the portal there, come along the pier, and then we'll come this way. So take a right at the lighthouse, and then we'll keep coming this way. The iron farm is over to the side here. And what we're going to do is see how to use the various pieces of this iron farm. So first things first, if you just need a couple of sets of iron blocks, the bulk storage for iron blocks is right here. We've got about three double chests full of iron blocks, and so that should hold you over unless you decide to start building with them. Now, if you do that, and then you need you, you run out of those, you'll need to know how to turn this thing on, okay? It usually stays off because there are serious issues for when this chunk or this series of chunk um, chunks unload uh, when either you go through the nether portal or move to some area that is outside of render distance or the view distance for the server, which I believe is on 10 chunks around the player. So we've got to turn it on, so let me show you how to do that. First things first, I've got a series of levers, and the first one we need to do is this one right here that controls the main clock. And then what you want to do is just take a look at the overall picture here. Okay, you know what? We're going to turn this off just to be sure. That's going to lock lock the timer. Okay, this should be 10. Okay, now I say that it should be 10. How in the world would other items get in there? Well, there is a bug where if the chunk unloads while the hopper is moving items back and forth, there's a potential for a duplicate. And so sometimes this will duplicate. And that's one of the reasons why I keep this off because it has a high potential to do that if you're going in and out of the nether, moving in and around the base, and so it's just better to AFK here. Okay, so we turn that on. It's It's got 10 items, so we're good there. And what we want to do is I've got another lever here controlling this timer. I can't remember whether it's on or off, and you see that it was on at that point. So we'll just put the lever back down so that we can turn this off later. And now that we've completely messed all of that up, we need to take this block of red or piece of redstone dust, pop it off, pop it back on, and that does a full reset of the system. And if you you happen to go around, you might hear some pistons firing as a result. And then what you need to do, this seems rather convoluted. You just got to wait for about an hour and a half, and that's how long it takes for this whole iron farm to reset itself and then eventually have 32 villages stacked on top of each other. So it's going to take a while. You only do this if you've got a lot of time to burn AFK. And I usually just sit down here. I get some blocks around me and, uh, and just cover myself in right here. And then eventually, iron golems will start falling into the killing and collection area right here. And then the iron bars will come down here and then go into this bulk storage array. There don't there doesn't seem to be anything in here. Nope. But the items will oh, we got one already. You can hear it when the iron golem trips a tripwire as it goes through the middle. And this is a good spot to hear when one goes through without hearing the lava killing the thing. And so we soon have the first batch of iron ingots from this round. And they come in infrequently while the farm is resetting, because that would be from the first village. And then there we go, we've got iron ingots. Sometimes they come in so fast that they end up up here as well. So you just need to check. And then wait for wait here for an hour and a half for the thing to reload if you want to stay for longer. That's cool too. Um, feel free to use this as you see fit. Hopefully that provided a good tutorial. Do let me know if any of that's confusing. Again, check here. There needs to be 10. Turn this off. Turn off that lever so that this clock can go. Turn off this lever so this clock can go. 
and then reset this dust to reset the whole farm. And there you have it. Now I'm going to turn this thing back off because I'm not here for that long. So we'll just do this and that's going to turn off the farm and we'll even force a reset that's going to kill all of those villages and make sure that we don't get any iron golems spawning outside of the the area there. Now that's something else that if you do happen to leave it on and it it gets out of sync, you're going to have iron golems start spawning outside of the collection area. They generally spawn in this corner. You'll need to kill those before you get anything out of this farm though. Okay, and just a word of warning, they are village spawned golems and they fight back. So I would suggest a ranged weapon. All right, that's how to use the iron farm. Hopefully it proves useful to my fellow two craftians and uh, those of you that are not two craftians that have stuck around, hopefully you've enjoyed this little look at the farm. But as always, Thank you for spending time with me on this episode of Family Friendly Gaming. And that's my goal. If I'm not going to show it to my kids, I'm not going to share it with you. So that's my promise, and that's the goal. Hopefully I have achieved it once again. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.